RSV usually spikes in the fall and winter, but recent data showed an unusual summertime uptick. Dr. Eric Peters with Overland Park Regional Medical Center Pediatric Center brings us up to date on what parents should know about RSV and COVID. Dr. Peters, what do you attribute this unusual off-season surge of RSV? Numbers for RSV, other viruses, influenza were very low last winter, and now everyone seems to think that as we've stopped social distancing as much as we've taken off masks in certain areas, as the kids have gone back to school in person, we're starting to share all our viruses. And what we have always thought of as kind of a seasonal virus in RSV has now exploded, at least throughout the Midwest. And what does RSV typically cause in kids? RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus. It's one of a number of viruses that cause a disease we call bronchiolitis, which simply means swelling or itis of the bronchial. So the kids at highest risk in bronchiolitis are the ones with the smallest airways, the smallest bronchioles, uh, which means we admit kids with RSV typically that are under two years of age. So what is the difference between RSV and a common cold? It's really symptoms. What are the signs and symptoms and when should someone get treated? Those kids can really have um, all the common signs uh, of a cold that you think of, fever, cough, runny nose, um, maybe not eating as well. Uh, but bronchiolitis takes it to another level where they're actually having difficulty breathing. Maybe they're breathing often too fast. Uh, looks like they're using all of their energy to breathe. Uh, you can see underneath and between their ribs when they're breathing and they're breathing so hard and so fast that they're unable to eat well. And that's when it becomes time to seek medical attention. What do you recommend parents do to keep their kids healthy? With any of these viruses, this includes RSV, this includes COVID. Uh, it's a good measure of hand washing um, and isolating from sick contacts. RSV has been studied extensively and can live on surfaces for hours, if not days. Uh, so you don't even necessarily have to be in the same room at the same time uh, with an infected person to catch the RSV from them. What are some preventative tips? We always want to recommend good hand washing and keeping your kids at home if they're sick. For more stories like this, head over to our website, kctv5.com slash HCA Midwest. Today on KCTV 5 News,